Okay, so in this video, I'm going to do some more administration scripts examples, but this time I'm going to run Docker commands. Docker is a very common tool and you will come across it and, and you can execute Docker commands using administration scripts. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, my SB code server here actually has Docker running on it. So I can run Docker containers. This is my server. And there are no containers running on there. That's how to list Docker containers that might be running on your server. I'm just going to install a simple hello world docker container just if you already have docker containers somewhere then you can just use those but i'm just going to use this hello world one okay so docker run the name i'm going to call it is nginx1 and that's the image there nginx demos hello enter so let's just pull the images from the docker registry and if i do docker psa again it shows me that there's a container running it's listening on that port and it's redirecting internally to port 80 tcp and the name is nginx1 so and it's actually an nginx web server just a hello world simple nothing special it's just an example so i can actually visit that web page that this server is hosting now by going to my spcode.net port 32779 and it's just a web page showing the server address or the internal IP address of this docker container server name 360AE there we go 360AE that's actually the ID and the date so if I refresh that I'll get a new date so 26 very good it's just an example now I can have several of those I'm going to start two more I'm going to call it nginx2 and nginx3 docker psa so i now have three docker containers running on this server all listening on different ports but redirecting to their own internal port 80 and they've got different names and i can visit all those in the browser as well there's one for 80 and there's another one for 81 very good so there's three different docker containers running all hosting a very simple hello world web server nginx now this docker psa i can run that from zabbix by creating an administration script so let's do that so go into zabbix administration scripts create a script and we'll call it i'll create a folder docker psa that's just the name of my script there i'm going to run on the zabbix agent so this is going to run on the actual host and the command was sudo docker psa because the zabbix user won't have permissions to run docker commands so sudo docker psa user group zabbix administrators i'm going to just use linux servers add very good so let's try that out sbcode.net docker PSA. Okay, unsupported item key. We know what we need to do. So the first thing to do is look at the Zabbix agent configuration on spcode.net for your server. All right. Okay, so I need to comment that out and enable remote commands. That's because I'm using Zabbix agent 5.01. Control X. Yes. Now to restart the Zabbix agent. Okay, and let's try that out again. Docker PSA. Okay, no TTY present and no ask pass specified. All right, that means we have to use the sudo because we want to try and do something with sudo privileges. Okay, the sudo. Okay, so just down here under roots, a good place. Let's just add this line. Okay, it's telling that the Zabbix user all all no password can run user bin docker this time. In the last video, we were allowing the Zabbix user to run nmap with sudo privileges. This time we're allowing the Zabbix user to run Docker with sudo privileges. X, yes. Now let's try that again. Docker PSA. There we go and now from zabbix i can read which containers are running 
on my SP code server. That's if my SP code server was a server used primarily for running Docker images. Okay, and you can see here that the status is up. These are the external ports that they're listening on, and that's the internal port of the container, their name, one, two, three. And that's the container ID. And that's them running. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Very good. Another thing we can do is check the stats of each of those containers. There, I'm just going to remove that no stream for now. Stats. What that does is creates a screen that updates you know, every few seconds, telling me how much CPU each of these Docker containers is using what their name is, their memory usage, it's not really, it's word wrapped, so it's not ordered very neatly. But the, see memory usage. We can also see this in Zabbix if we wanted to. So, but the important thing is to remember to use these switches here, A and no stream. This will cause it just to print out the information once, like that, and then return. Let's create another administration script. Create script docker that's script Zabbix agent that's the command sudo docker stats a no stream. Remember, you can experiment by leaving that off if you'd like to see what happens, but I advise leaving that on. No user group Zabbix administrators my Linux service. You could create yourself a docker servers group if you wanted root add okay monitoring maps spcode.net docker stats and there we go it's a little easier to read anyway so there's name cpu these containers don't really do much so not going to have high cpu anyway but if you have a server that's running multiple docker containers it'll be good to know whether any of them are using too much memory or cpu or IO. Very good. Now, small things we can do. We can actually stop and start containers as well. Let's just say hypothetically this container here was causing a lot of problems. This one, 32780. And stopping it and starting it again would solve my problem. Docker PSA. The one listening on 32780 was named Nginx2. So I can create a script for that. Or two. It's going to clone that. Docker start engine x2 so docker start engine x2 add I'm going to clone that and stop engine x2 add alright monitoring maps docker let's stop engine x2 Okay, it's done. Let's refresh that. Going to time out. There we go. Let's start Nginx2. Very good. It's going to be on a different port, likely. So, Docker PSA. Nginx2 is now on port 32782. So, 32782. There we go. And it's running. Anyway, so that's an example of using administration scripts to actually manage Docker containers. Very, very good. Excellent.